it's a dramatic title for the book, The Coach's Survival Guide. And I chose it because I think it's pretty dramatic becoming a coach, actually. Um, People have such a lot to learn. They not only have to learn coaching skills, but they many of them have to learn to become business owners for the first time. And that requires huge amounts of change and energy and learning. And I wanted to provide something that enabled them to navigate their way through that and survive the process. The book was written for new and newish coaches. So people who've just completed their coach training and think, what do I do now? I've got all the tools and techniques, but actually how do I make this happen? Through to people who are a couple of years into their practice, but still learning and still questioning and still coming across new situations that they haven't met before. I think the key things are, first of all, you have to know what sort of business you want to grow. So there's a lot of pre-planning. Um, some people just want lifestyle businesses and some people want a great big coaching empire and some people want to employ associates. So that's the first point, kind of know where you're going. So many new coaches I meet agonise about how they're going to get clients. It's the biggest, biggest question I hear. And putting it really bluntly, I say, stop sitting at home and designing your business card or your website and just get out there and do it and talk to people about it. That's how a business grows.